Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Edit Care. Today I have brought an interesting session on converting an image to a PDF file. As well as I will show you how you can convert multiple images and combine all of them to a single PDF file. So let us see how can we do that. So for doing this, first of all you need to install a module called Pillow. Pip install Pillow. So in my case it is already installed so you need to install this this is for single file so i have created two separate files one is for single file and one will be for multiple files so i in my if you see in my folder in my folder i have four uh, J, uh, jpg files so instead if you have png files you can just uh, rename it to png files jpg to png file okay first of all from pil import image then pick is a variable so image is open so we'll be opening that image this is my folder path where my file is available pick one.jpg next what i'm gonna do is like i am variable equal to pick.convert so we'll be converting to an rgb after that the new image so like new image equal to i am dot resize now we'll be resizing the image to a single format 800 cross 800 so width by height then new image dot save now like we'll be uh, imaging uh, saving the new image as this r what is the path so i'm uh, saving it to test.pdf file very simple right so first i'm opening the file uh, jpg file i'm converting the jpg file to an rgb and then i'm just uh, resizing that image to any like uh, size like 800 by 800 or 600 by 600 or 300 by 300 anything and then i'm just saving it new image.save to a pdf file so let me run the script i think it is been saved if you see here yeah i got the test.pdf file uh, let me open it and if you see like the image is saved over here now the same file uh, let me uh, try to uh, run uh, by 400 by 400 so with 800 we have seen like it's uh, pretty clear now we'll go by 400 by 400 and we'll go with test one let's see we have another folder got created if you see for 800 by 800 cross 800 the file size is used that is 161 kb and for 400 400 cross 400 the file size is 47 kb so you, if you want to differentiate the file size see it's a little bit blurred whereas uh, with 800 cross 800 it's clear okay this is very simple small video but uh, uh, it will be very helpful whenever uh, uh, we will be using this kind of resizing or reformatting things okay. next i will show you like how you can combine multiple jpg files and convert them to a single pdf file now for this we will have the same thing from pil import image next is like we will import a model called os then the folder where my all the files are available where my all the jpg files are available or png files are available so folder equal to this is my path then uh, i will uh, look for all the files in the particular folder files equal to os.listeddir folder so it will list all my folders all my files in a, this particular uh, files now i will be assigning a uh, empty list li equal to empty, empty list now i need i don't need all the files right so i need only the files with jpg uh, the ends with jpg not the checkpoints or ipy and b and b so i need only those files image file that is ending with jpg so what i'm gonna do is like for file dot files okay for file in files if file dot ends with jpg say like you have uh, png files also so what you can do is like or file dot and with dot png so this situation will also work out so i equal to image so i equal to image dot open file then we'll be converting it m equal to i dot convert rgb so m equal to m dot resize so similarly what we have done here right same thing i'm gonna do here first we are opening it the file 
then we are converting to RGB then we are resizing it to 800 plus 800 so that all the files all the images in my PDF file should be of the same size now since like this is the single single file I'm looping through each file so what I'm gonna do is like I will be appending to this my uh, I will be uh, like one of the outputs I'm receiving this M variable right I will after resizing that particular M right I'm will be appending to my empty list that is available over here okay now what I'm gonna do is like I will be just removing the last entry from the list last item from the list so for that what is that li dot pop so if I do this if I this statement what it will do is like it will remove the last uh, item from the list so why I am doing that I'm doing that because my next very statement what it will do is like am dot save so this particular am dot save uh, what is the folder a uh, file test dot pdf save all true append images li this particular list li list right so if i don't put pop like if i'm if i'm not removing the last item what is going to happen is like so i will have all my files here like first picture second picture third picture fourth picture if you see here i have a fourth picture so this uh, it will loop for all the four pictures and all the four pictures will be available in my empty list so in my next statement what i'm going to do is like i will be appending this m so this file is already the last picture is already available here have available over here and then again i'm appending my list so this picture plus my all the four pictures so it is again going to duplicate so this one file will be duplicate so for uh, removing the duplicate i'm just uh, removing the last setting from the list in my previous statement itself so that there will be no duplicates okay so uh, let me uh, run this one okay this is one of the file this is the last file actually so let me go to the test at pdf okay just a minute okay uh, okay uh, i think sorry i need to run the next statement also so i need to run this uh, let me run this and now if i go to this path so this is the test.pdf file got created and now if you look into it so this is my first file then i have second file third file and the fourth file match files so it's imaging right guys so and it's very simple also like it's uh, just in your fingertip and like so hope uh, this video is helpful for you guys and if you have liked this video please press like button and more for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching